Right, this is something I've made intended to help those who wish to interface an LCD display with a PIC microcontroller. All this circuit on this breadboard does is teach you the basic commands and codes that this, in particular the one I'm using is a 44780 LCD, uses. Um, I've got a series of switches up the top. It's just eight switches for the data line bits. So bit zero right through to bit seven. I've got four switches here for a clear. I'll explain what that is in a second. You got a register select. On the LCD, you have command mode and character mode. That just selects which one. Uh, you got E switch or enter and an auto switch. I'll explain what that is in a second as well. Um, I've also got two seven segment displays which display uh, the hex equivalent of the binary number you enter. I've got LCDs down the bottom. I'll reset it so you can see. They're the eight binary bit dis um, indicators. I'll give you an example. Um, if I set bit one it'll light up the first LED and it'll show the hex equivalent on the LED displays. Um, this clear button clears what I've entered. So if I was to enter one 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 one, that's FF in hex. And I can clear that by clearing, pressing the clear button. Uh, it uses a PIC 16F72. I've just used that simply because of the amount of in and output pins I needed. Um, the LED goes LED lines go straight to the data lines of the LCD. So if you set bits high and it shows up on the LED, it's the same on the LCD. Um, I'll give you an example of typing my name. Oh, that auto switch, what it does, to initialize the LCD you have to turn the display on by entering a code and setting it to what mode you want it in. For example, two line mode, single line mode, um, how many pixels you want it to display, and so on and so forth. So the code to turn the display on and the and the uh, cursor on is 0F in hex, or in binary it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. I'm in command mode. That's what it has to be in. So enter. That's turned the display on. I've got a bit of a glitch there. <laughs> and to turn it into two line mode, I can clear that and press zero zero one one one. And that's changed to two line mode. All the auto switch does is do all that and set it into character mode, ready to go to type. All those codes can be interpreted off a table like this, which can be found on the net anywhere. Just type in Hitachi 77480, I think it was. Display com commands, and you'll get a table like this. So I will write my name. My name is Jake. We are in character mode. My name is Jake, so I'll type a J to start off with. The first four bits are 0, 1, 0, 0. The second four bits are 1, 0, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Enter. An A is this, a K is this, I think, yep, and an E is that. There's my name. And every time you change a bit of the 8-bit code, it will change the hex digits to the equivalent. Um, I'll give you an example of moving the cursor to a different display address. 
this is another thing you can find on the net, probably in the same place you get the command codes from. Just gives you a address numbers for all the individual um, 16 character squares. Say if I wanted to move to uh, square 5 on the second line, that's 44 in hex, don't forget. So if I clear that, put it back into command mode, and using this command here, set display address, set bit 7 to 1, and all the rest are your address code. So we set bit 7 to 1, and we wanted to move it to 44 in hex. 44 in hex is 0, 1, 0, 0 and then 100. 1, and then 100. So we should press enter and it should move down here somewhere. There you go. Auto switch also has a clear function in it. So you can press this while it's in character mode and it'll clear the display to start all over again. That's basically it.